Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study how two-dimensional arrays are represented in memory. We know that two-dimensional arrays are matrices. A two-dimensional M cross N array is a matrix of M rows and N columns. But in memory, this two-dimensional array will be represented by a block of m into n sequential memory locations. There are two ways to store a two-dimensional array in memory. One is column major order and another is row major order. Now suppose there is a two-dimensional 3 cross 4 array A. In row major order, elements of array A will be stored in memory row by row. First, first row of two-dimensional array A will be stored, then second row will be stored and then third row will be stored. If this two-dimensional array A is stored in column major order then A will be stored in memory column by column first first column of two dimensional array A will be stored then second column will be stored then third column will be stored then fourth column will be stored suppose there is a two dimensional m cross n array a then the address of the element which is in its first row and first column is called the base address of this two dimensional array a If the base address of array A and the number of words per memory location for the array A is known, then we can calculate the address of any element of this two-dimensional array A. If a two-dimensional M cross N array A is stored in column major order then the address of element which is in jth row and kth column can be calculated by this formula if this two dimensional m cross n array a is stored in row major order then the address of element which is in jth row and kth column can be calculated by this formula right in these two formulas base a is the base address of a two dimensional array a and w is the number of words per memory location of the two dimensional array a Thank you very much.